What is up guys? Today I went for diving. Well, it was not today, it was two days ago and we actually saw whale sharks. It's nice to see them. It's not the season here in Seychelles and yet we managed to have quite a bunch of them, honestly. Uh, people have been seeing them every day. Uh, but the thing with whale shark, they might just disappear in one night because they fall on plankton. Um, but today I'm gonna review, well not review, talk about the light which is it for you if you shoot in the water? If it's not for you, if we should, will I recommend it? Will I not recommend it? Long story short is a no, uh, but if you want to stick to to why I would buy it again and try it again, this is the video. Um, the light I'm talking about, it's the WT, WT40D, waterproof daylight tube. There you go. This one is a daylight, so it means it doesn't change the Calvin. Uh, it stays consistently, consistently, wow, to I think five five thousand five hundred Calvin. Um, so there's a light F effect mode. There's thirteen modes. Uh, smart battery level. I'm just reading out of the box. Um, super high C CRI. I don't even know what that is. Uh, super high TLCI. Ninety percent. Ninety percent of all of this. If it focused, there you go. And he has the app to control, but underwater, I won't use the app anyway, unless you have your phone in the case. That's a different story. Uh, and that's it, that's about it. And the light I'm talking about is actually this light here. Um, this is Dogodox W, well, w, w T 40 d It costs around, almost with shipping, around $300, 310, 312 with shipping. And uh, right now, using it here, just uh, shooting this, it's on 8% power and it will last me 35 hours. I'm not even joking guys, 35 hours. So it has buttons layout so you can put it on, you can dim the light, you can change the mods, you can increase the power, decrease or increase or decrease the power. And right now 8%, 8% is quite nice. Wait. Um, quite nice to have. You can have it as practical light at the back. If you can guys see, actually make a nice symmetry here. Um, but yeah, focus, focus on me. Um, why wouldn't I recommend this? I bought two, this, two of this light and pretty much one day light because the RGB was out of stock and was back ordered. Originally, I did buy the RGB one first and for a month and a half, b &H could not ship it because they didn't have it in stock. Uh, so I saw a nice discount on the daylight tube ones. I think it was around 200 something. Uh, with shipping was around 220. Uh, I said, you know what, let's get it. Uh, and then I got the daylight. Then a couple of days after it got shipped the RGB light. So I managed to have two of them, not too far from each other. I waited, I think five or four or five days to get the RGB one. And by why I did have it, I used them. I will show you the video on my Insta360. Um, the only flaws of this, this light is the sealing mechanism. Um, this one is open because it doesn't work anymore. So you will have a latch here. Let's zoom in again. You'll have a latch here. You guys can see. And you will pop it up. Still the focus here. God damn it. There you go. You have the latch here and then you will pretty much have this because I removed the cover, I unscrewed it, I wanted to see, but it didn't work, so... It still smell. This is where you normally will seal, there you go, and then you will close the latch, which is, we'll have it pretty much closed, here you go, and then you will close this, and technically it should be protected from the pressure, uh, and the water should not come inside, right? But technically, water did got inside. Um, after the first few minutes, the light was working perfectly. I think after the 10, maybe even less than 10, one light started to go dim. It was not working properly. It was starting to flash, going crazy. I did not see anything anymore on the screen here. And I was like, 
not freaking out, but I knew I knew that something did not go well uh, with the lights. So the other one was working perfectly. When I went back to the boat, because we had to do a safety stop, we did, we did a 45 minutes dive, and I was like, you know, it doesn't matter if I rush back up, it's salt water, I already went to the circuit, so it's, it's ruined. Um, so when I went back up, um, I honestly don't know if it was my mistake or it was a default unit. I cannot blame this on Godox. I cannot blame this on myself. I really don't know. But I went back up, I opened the latch and technically it was not sealed properly. Um, it was not sealed properly. Uh, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. But there was kind of a, a small amount of enough hole for the water to go inside. So that's, I think, made the trick and ruined my light. It stayed on for, uh, for I think, a day and a half. Like it was working for a day and a half, but I didn't have any control on the, um, on the buttons layout. Uh, when it was, I put it outside to dry, I tried to charge it, but of course it's salt water circuit is gone. So will I recommend this light? I will say no, just because how the light it's sealed, how the light, yeah, the seal position of the light is not the best ones. Like I have smaller lights that I use for cheaper brands and they have a better, um, a better way to lock the ceiling, the charging ports. And this one feel like really, really cheap. It's quite heavy, uh, but again, when you're underwater, you're gonna have enough buoyancy. So it's not gonna matter underwater. But for 300 something dollars to buy this, I bought those two lights they are not strong. I'm not saying that they are very small. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this is a small light. Okay, it's not that strong. Um, way off of my skin tone right now because I don't know the Calvin. So you cannot switch off the Calvin. I don't know. I think this is like 6,000 or 7,000 Calvin. Um, so this is shit of a light, but they have a super nice way of sealing. Uh, so you have to pretty much, it's like, you know the GoPro case that you need to put your GoPro on in. So you'll open it like this and you'll have to open it here. You even feel the seal, you know? And then there's your charging port. The charging port is right here. Um, but the GoPro, I mean, the, this, tube light it's super easy for the water to go inside so for me it's like when i saw the light i was very 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 um i don't know like is this enough but anyway i bought them i wanted to try them out so one still work but i'm still scared of the next time i use the light that might go that something might go wrong so if you're looking for some tube lights that doesn't cost like a thousand bucks because underwater light i've seen like good light strong light do cost around a thousand to two thousand dollars so it's they're quite expensive um but this is good like it's super it's super strong uh to be honest underwater it got nice shots but one of the lights failed on me so i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't recommend it i probably gonna buy one again with godox that's on me uh, unless this one fail as well, well I will check it or maybe triple check it before I put it on the water uh, and then if it doesn't fail maybe it was my fault but again good ox if, you look, if you're looking at this video I don't think you will look but this light mechanism not the best of choice and if you could sponsor me one that would be awesome but otherwise I will buy another one myself once I try to reseal this properly and give it another try but for right now, it can stay 36 hours and 16 minutes, very good. But underwater, it will last you about an hour and a half to two hours. I think just because of the pressure of the water, uh, the battery doesn't uh, have the same power. So yeah, here you go. This is Godox WT, WT40D. I have to look at the box, light. Um, if you guys like this video, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna do a vlog of my diving, probably tomorrow I'm gonna go dive. There's whale sharks, as I said. It would be nice to see them again. Um, is it beauty? Not oh, great. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Hello.